think we found the holy grail. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna hate that. I don't use a handsaw often. We finally found it. I think we found the holy grail. This is an eight foot long, early 1900s harvest produce table. And today's video, we are gonna make a couple repairs on it because it does have a couple battle wounds from over the years. We're gonna give it a light sanding and bring out its beauty and move it into our home. Over the years, at some point, it looks like it had some heavy weight sitting on the top, right in the center, which put a giant sag on the table. I put a, a level on it and it's probably about an inch or an inch and a half. So that is the first thing we're gonna address. We're gonna flip it over, um, give it a good pressure washing, and then we'll address the underside when we get to it. And hopefully there's a couple issues we can correct on the underside and just put a, maybe some brackets or some simple wood wedges in there to fix that sag. Other than that, the top looks great. It does have a break on this side, but the benefit about that is we wanted a narrow eight foot wide table. So what I'm gonna do is just zip this corner off to make it all one length. I hate doing that, but it's gonna work better for our location for this table where it's sitting. And as you can see, the back side is all really good. It has the old taper legs. All of them are in good condition, except for one. One has a knot in it just from when they made it. So it is a little tweaked on that one. So we'll try to be careful, but this eight foot table does have the old drawer in it. <laughs> and it is all original, never been touched. Like I said, the only issue is the break on the backside and the sag in the center. So let's get started on this thing. So over the years, either someone has stacked something very heavy on top of this, or it's just settled because it is an eight foot long table. So we're gonna notch these sections out right here, and I'm gonna use another one by and see if I can create kind of a mirrored image as of this front piece and then just slide it down on the inside of it with some glue and some screws and then that should double it up and keep it from further sagging. As you can tell, I don't use a handsaw often. Let's see if she fits. So as you can see, this was a square I cut out. That way it would kind of interlap or overlap. Perfect. That is exactly what I was looking for. And this will really reinforce this edge right here, which was sagging. So to attach this piece, this board, I'm going to use a combination of construction adhesive, some screws on the sides to attach it to the front boards. I'm going to pre-drill this wood also. And then for the joints here, you would assume the weak part of the piece, I will probably pre-drill these holes and use some long um, four inch exterior screws and then that way on this front side i'll show you in a minute i'll be able to hide the heads behind the drawer and then on the top the ones that are visible i'll probably going to use some ring shank nails hammer those in and then that way i can just paint the nail head black and it'll probably match the existing ones that are already on here but yes this worked out perfect
Uh, the double face board worked out perfect, attached with some glue and some screws. As you can see, I have this gap right here. <clears throat> this is because the original face is actually bowed out. So what I'm gonna do behind this drawer face, when we flip the table right side up and this drawer shuts, there's enough room to hide one Phillips head. I don't wanna have this visible even under the drawer, but I think that to get this pulled in correctly and to support it correctly right here in this weak spot, I'm gonna pre-drill and put one of these four inch um, exterior screws in here. So I'm gonna pre-drill these and then add the nails and it should be close. What's up, TT? Last day at school! I'm very happy with how that came out without messing with it too much. That is all I'm doing. Now let's see if we can get this bad boy over and we'll start the easy part. Oh. Before guys, this table had a huge sag in it. Probably, I would, I would say close to an inch and a half, two inches. Now it looks tremendously better, but six foot level never lies. <laughs> oh gosh, look at that. We did it. We did it. It has maybe an eighth of an inch sag now. Like I said earlier, I am going to trim this corner off, which I'm sure a lot of people are gonna hate that, but it's broke and there's about a two inch difference between this side and this side down here. So I'm gonna get my tape measure out, measure it, get a straight line in there, and I'm gonna cut it off. Now for the easy part, we're gonna start with 120 and see how that goes. She's complete. I took her down to 220, which is the, exactly the way we're gonna keep it. It is blonde, it's bare wood, kind of has that old beech wood look to it. Once it dries out, it will be perfect. And now it's time to get this table into the dining room to its home. Stop it. This way. This way just a little bit. Yeah. All right, what do you think? Love it.
Thank you guys for watching this week's project. Join us next week and do not forget to like and subscribe if you like this type of content. God bless and we will see you next time.